Are you paying too much for power tools or are power tools too expensive? Well, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and face off Harbor Freight's two top brands, Hercules, Bauer. We all heard of Harbor Freight and we all know the name all too well, but today I'm gonna be taking their top drill in impact and putting them head to head to see which one comes out victorious. Now you're gonna wanna stay for the entire video because I'm gonna test them and you're never gonna believe how it all ends. Now between the Bauer band, I picked up the 1792C-81 and for the impact, the 2085C-BR. And on the Hercules, I went ahead and got for the drill driver, the HCB91K1. And for the impact, I picked up the HCB82 Bravo 2. I wanted to show you guys what came with these hammer drill driver. Now for the Bauer, the drill hammer drill came with a lithium ion one and a half amp hour battery and it also has indicator in the front and a rapid charger, the hammer drill driver. And it also comes with the carry case. Now for the Hercules, it comes with a one and a half amp hour battery, a rapid charger. This is not a hammer drill unit, but the specs were almost the same. Now to make the test a little bit more fair, I bought eight amp hour batteries for each of the units. Now for the impact drills, they just come bare with the tool itself. This is the Bauer Impact, which is the bare tool itself. It comes with a half inch driver and a three button selection. For the Hercules Impact, it comes with a three selection fork and a three eighth in driver. So let's go ahead and get started with the test. Okay, so I wanted to kind of clarify something. I did make a little bit of a mistake here between the drills. Uh, so the drills, when I purchased them, I thought that the Bauer was going to be brushless, but it is indeed not a brushless, but the Hercules is brushless. I'm just going to put them up head to head against each other, but I, I don't really think that's kind of fair to kind of have one brushless and the other one brush. Something I want to explain about the impacts is that they don't have a quarter inch hex quick eject feature to them. So they just come with pretty much, this one comes with a three eighths driver and then this one comes with a half inch drive. And I had to go and find sockets to fit it, to kind of fit. Immediately I noticed is that, you know, some nails, you know, like deck nails or something like that. And you got this going on here. You got a socket you got to find. You got that, you know, you got something to hold the socket. It and you got something going there and then it goes in and then this ring is so tight that by the time it in there you can't pull the damn thing off dicks on there I might be going crazy here but I am testing with these six and three eighths deck screws Hercules brushless impact lithium ion battery one two three I didn't like that one. And it came to my attention that such a difference that what I wanted to do was go ahead and show the difference one and a half amp hour battery and this one's gonna be a two amp hour batteries on the Hercules and what I did was I upgraded them to eight amp hour batteries and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a drill test with some five inch lag bolts the idea is, is a size of a battery does make a big deal five inch lag bolt with the Hercules two amp hour battery one two three <laughs> It took, a, it took an extremely long time. That's why I wanted to show you guys just the difference it made. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch this out 
to an eight amp hour battery. And I wanna show you the difference because this is a big thing that everybody's asking about is like, oh, they're commenting that they're saying the batteries make a difference, batteries don't make a difference. But I'm gonna show you right here, this is gonna answer a lot of questions and let's see how this thing works now. So let's go ahead and get moving on it, ready? One, two, three. I would say that probably took about a quarter of the time. And move over to the Bauer on the one and a half amp hour battery, which is even smaller than the last one. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three. There you go. I went ahead and stopped just slightly so I could pull them back out. Now let's see this guy roll with the eight amp hour battery. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Tremendous difference with the eight amp hour battery proven right here does make a difference. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the Hercules and the Bauer drill. The Bauer is a brush drill and the Hercules is the brushless. Ready, let's get started. Okay, that was great. I, I'm actually, now the Bauer, Mr. Bauer doesn't have the juice to get started like the Hercules. Yep, stopped it right there. Now I'm gonna go with a three quarter inch wood drill. Stops right there. The Bauer definitely doesn't, definitely doesn't have the juice, man. Switch it to one. Bauer does not have the juice. Even on one. as I'm going in. Try not to break my wrist here. Nice! Hercules brushless went, did it. So let's go ahead and see how the drills drive in the Dextrous. I'm gonna start first with the Hercules. Speed two. Oops, my fault, I'm not pressing. I'm not pressing hard on this. I am letting it grab itself. I mean, this thing, yeah. I'm all about the Hercules one. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and try the lag bolts with the Hercules. all the juice it had. All right, let's go ahead and try the Bauer. Not too good. Doesn't have the balls, man. Nothing burns like Chinese plastic. All right, lag bolt test completed. Uh, the Hercules went all the way through with it. Um, didn't go all the way down, almost did. You had to switch it to one. The Bauer. You saw it, I mean, barely got it started with two. It looks like it was just lacking that kind of that umph. I mean, even after I got it a certain way, I, I put it to one, started to smell like I was burning. So for today's winner, it's obviously gonna be the Hercules drill. I'm not even going to pass the impacts. I think they failed miserably. 
Um, and also, I'm not really too happy with the drill that Bauer had. But with this guy, I really feel confident that this, this makes a really good drill. If I were to go into, to be going to Harbor Freight, I'd be looking at this drill to pick up. Uh, it is not a hammer drill. I didn't pick up the hammer drill, but she definitely has some balls. Um, it almost did all the tests, did the paddle drilling. I mean, I would say it'd be an entry level prosumer type of product. To me, it's worth the money or is it worth the money? You know, by the time I put together this entire package, I had to buy the drill. I bought the kit with the battery charger and I bought the extra eight amp hour battery. And this is how much I ended up spending. So there you have it. A couple things I want to kind of educate the community on on who Harbor Freight is. Harbor Freight has been around since 1977. It is an American owned company based out of Northern California. And what, how they started in 1977, they took liquidated tools and they made it as part of a mail order system. And it was only until the later 1990s, which they started their website in the early 2000s, on how they started actually started getting a little bit bigger as you can see and what they started doing was try to get consumers tools to them without having to pay these outrageous prices because at the end of the day we all know that there's some tools out there that are costing just so much money and made by the same chinese manufacturer as you would find but just they slap a different logo on it and i know you guys know who i'm talking about or so if you like today's videos, I ask that you go ahead and smash on the subscribe button to get alerted next time we have a video.